everybody. Pear here with Marshmallow. Yay! And Grapefruit. Good morrow. Today we're doing the Christmas present challenge. These two will take turns picking gifts without knowing what's inside. One person will get a good present, the other will get coal. Fruit. Do you share Marshy's enthusiasm? Pear, I'll attempt to keep this brief. I came into today's challenge with a plan. I'm going to use all of my senses, all of my cunning, all of my strategy to identify good presents. For five hours this morning, I mentally prepared myself for this moment. I hired a chef to cook an optimal game day meal specifically designed for me. Meanwhile, Marshmallow is over there getting distracted by a floating piece of lint. Marshmallow, that's not a bug. It is lint. Oh, I love that name. I'm naming this bug lint. <laughs> ah! Pear, I believe we can see the writing on the wall. This Christmas present challenge isn't going to be close. It's going to be a bloodbath. And when that bloodbath is over, I will be going home with a slew of incredible gifts. And Marshmallow will be going home with NBC. And nothing but coal. Wow, strong words. Well, I guess we should get right to it. I suppose we should. some coal. You're about to have a bunch of that laying around. <laughs> oh, great idea! I hope I get coal! This is too easy. Okay, you two. Here is your first round of gifts. Grapefruit, you pick first. Which gift will you open? Interesting. Here we have a lumpy, heavy, coal-shaped gift. And here we have a bicycle-shaped gift. My, what a difficult decision. Shall I go with the coal-shaped gift or the bicycle-shaped gift? You may not have the bicycle-shaped gift, for I have chosen it for myself. Take the coal-shaped present and the inevitable loss that comes with it. Okay. Yay. All right. Open your presents on three. One, two, three. What? Uh, a bicycle? Lint can't eat this. How the? This was supposed to be a bicycle. If you don't want that coal, can I feed it to Lynn? Lint does not eat coal! Oh, sure enough! You can eat the bicycle after all! Yeah, hey, hey, everything worked out! Okay, round one goes to Marshmallow. Here comes round two. Refocus, Grapefruit. You got this. Marshmallow, which gift will you choose? Hmm, well, the obvious choice would be to choose the present shaped like a car-shaped piece of coal! Oh, for crying out loud! But I'm gonna follow my gut and go with this present, because it's shaped like a coal all right, take your gifts, you two. Open them on three. One, two, three. Yay! A cool shaped treasure chest. What is happening? It's like each precious metal, just like I hoped it would. Yay! This is the greatest Christmas ever. <laughs> well, that does it for today's challenge video, everyone. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Stop! No, this will not stand. I demand another round. I refuse to leave here with two pieces of coal. Okay. Um, I guess we could do a lightning round. Yay! I love lightning! Yes, great. A lightning round. Let's do it! We didn't have presents prepared, but I guess we can have Orange whip something together. Hey, Orange! <laughs> Present! <laughs> nah. Hey, Orange, can we get a couple gifts? We're doing a last-minute lightning round. On it! Okay, focus up, Grapefruit. This is your chance. If you can pick a good present, this will all have been worth it. Okie dokie, here you go. Thank you, Orange. All right, Grapefruit, which gift do you pick? Hmm, identically shaped boxes. Very clever. Well, not clever enough, because when I shake this box, it sounds exactly like a lump of coal. Ergo, I select that gift. Final answer. Okay, great. Everyone have their boxes? One, two, three. TNT? What? It was last minute, and I had a bunch laying around. I'm actually okay with this. I don't have a use for it, but what's important is that I got the good gift, because Mashi got the coal. Coal? Yeah, the other gift is supposed to be coal. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Then what did Mashi get? 